my wife and I, when we were first married, she asked me to, uh, to pick up some things from the store. They were like feminine hygiene things. And I was like, Oh, I don't, I can't get those. And she was like, why can't you get those? I was like, I don't have my ID. They're at, it's a home. <laughs> and she, she was like, they don't care how old you are. <laughs> you can, I was like, I'm 27. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know that you can get those without that. <laughs> Welcome to the On Air, Off Air podcast. Some of your favorite On Air River DJs off the air. Just having a conversation among friends. And also Chad is here. Hi. (laughs) I'm Jace from the River Afternoon Show. Haley is here as well. And then we've got Chad and Josh from, I keep wanting to say the all new River Morning Show. You guys guys drop that now. You're just just the River Morning Show. It's old. And we talk about being just the River Morning Show so much that we also still reference the all new River Morning Show. So it's like we're not letting that die. There's a yeah. lot of layers to that. Yeah. It's exciting. It's like just an onion. Just let it go. Yeah. Complete let with it the go tears. Tough. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Uh, you guys, TV fans? Watch TV, use streaming services, television, streaming services, streaming services. 100%. Do you I mean, we still just, have cable, Chad. We, no, we we just recently got the uh, the old antenna out. Mm. Wow. 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 Watch like broadcast wow. TV. It's free. Wow, wow. it's free. And there's it's a lot exciting. of good stuff in you there. Like, what is this commercial mm-hmm. yeah. that we're looking the at? The very mm-hmm. first time that my uh, middle daughter ever saw a commercial in a show, she was like, uh, 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 "Somebody sat on the remote." Yeah. Uh, hello. What is and this? we're like, no, it's a commercial. This is the worst show ever. <laughs> we said the show will start in a minute. And she's like, okay. The second commercial happened. She was like, hey, hey, there's two. There's two. She didn't understand the commercials. Incident. Have you seen, and there's a, a real uh, going around of a guy who's like, my daughter came to me the other day with her iPad and she was like, dad, there's this new thing. It's so cool. It's, there's a show on and there's stuff that plays in between. And if you don't sit down and watch the show when it's on, you miss it. <laughs> And he's like, television. You're, yes. you're describing yeah. television. Oh my Everything word. comes back around. Yeah. That's all it used to be. I mean, you'd have to sit down. If I wanted to watch Arthur, came on at three o'clock. If you were late getting home from school. You missed it. You, missed you had to it. wait you for the reruns. Arthur. It's like vinyl, how that came back. And like watching shows when they're actually on. I'm just going to set Netflix to start at a certain time. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I got to get home. Netflix yeah. is going to start soon. No, I yeah. can't stay. I can't work late today. Nope. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, Breaking Bad is on again. Mm-hmm. And I've got to catch that rerun. So Netflix has said uh, that they are about to start. They've been threatened this for years, but they've said that they're about to start cracking down on sharing Netflix passwords mm-hmm. with other people. They've threatened to charge the accounts that you're sharing with. Mm-hmm. It's a bit absurd, but it has me thinking. Um, Are any of you the moocher or the moochie for someone's streaming service? Get off my lawn. Okay. Um, Josh is usually the get off my lawn guy, but I will get Uh everyone off my lawn. I do not want to share... Uh, well, my that, password with anybody. Know. That sounds uh, like I you. Don't, that I sounds don't like want to share. Why? I actually recently found out that we were sharing our password with my wife's family, her brother-in-law and sister-in-law. Uh, and, and you I were was like, like cut I was like, no. Done. What? We well, got them a gift at Christmas. This is not that. <laughs> Plus, it's going to mess with the algorithm yes, of that's what the it big thinks thing, right? you want. That's what tipped no. me off because I was like, yeah. who's watching all of these shows? <laughs> they don't like, have the courtesy to create their own profile? Well, I'm, I, I don't know if it's a conspiracy. I don't know if they're trying to keep this from me because I put the kibosh on it. No sharing. Have you seen yeah. where people will... Did you change the password? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> where people will stay logged into, like, let's say, like, an ex's account or whatever, but they create their profile as new profile, so uh-huh. it just looks <gasps> like... <gasps> it's That's just, so smart. It's really good. Are you mooching off anybody's I'm a mooching. Okay. Um, my parents. Uh, I'm still well. mooching off my parents' Netflix account. Honestly, not just Netflix. It's oh, like nice. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. um, we we <laughs> No, no, no. I wish. I wish. No, we pay for Amazon, and that is it. We mooch Hulu. We mooch Disney Plus. We mooch Netflix. We mooch Peacock. We mooch. Millennials. I feel like there was something else. But I feel like Hulu's doing this too now because I've been having issues logging in. Haven't had. Haven't had issues with Netflix yet. Um, That's coming soon. I know. Right. I'm really sad because I don't want to pay for it. And so I'm I'm literally well, yeah. like having to have the debate in right. my head. If and when this crackdown happens, am I going to bite the bullet 
and pay or not. And this is something we talked about on our show. I am really just like giving myself a pat on the back for procrastinating a little bit. Cause for years I've said that I'm going to get rid of our DVD collection. We still have like a whole cabinet of DVDs and Blu-rays. So do we. And <laughs> for years I've said, I should just, I should just get rid of them. I'm really glad I didn't. Cause yeah. I think we might be going back to like yeah. strictly DVD household so, here pretty soon. Chad, you mentioned like get off my lawn, which is like what an older person will say. I'm going to uh -huh. say what a younger person would say in this we'll whole see. scenario. No, we'll no it's okay. <laughs> I have to be the judge of that. Yeah, in the I comments mean, below on yeah. River Now, please let us know. I mean, younger person in terms of a child, okay. and I have those. So, no fair, because mm. as a rule follower, I would never consider doing this. This is like, it's <laughs> super judgy. I mean, it's super judgy right now. It's not yours. You can't use it. And then I, I have friends and family who do all this stuff. I'm like, oh, it must be nice to watch Peacock and Hulu mm -hmm. and all these things and not have to pay for it. How convenient. But no, that's, if you want it, you have to pay for it. Otherwise that's. Well, the thing like with me is I'm, the whole like X thing and them not knowing you're using it. That's one thing, but yeah, we're my not, I'm not family saying you should. I'm just yeah. saying my you family could. knows. Oh, I know. They, I'm they not worried said, about hey, your family. Do you want our password? And I said, yeah. yes, please. <laughs> I'm not worried about your family. I'm not worried about Netflix. You heard it here first. However, Josh doesn't care Josh about your doesn't family. Care about right. my family. Uh, How shove off everyone. <laughs> <show>. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's just the, it's the, it's the principle. Now I'm back to being an old guy. It's, yeah. it's the principle of the thing where, it's but there sharing was a, is caring. There was a point, though, Ask years Netflix ago. If they think well, that, <laughs> well, there was a point years ago where Netflix had put out a social media thing that said sharing is caring, and it was about sharing your it Netflix was password. Literally in 2017, mm -hmm. they tweeted. <laughs> I, We've got I receipts. Got the receipts. <laughs> in 2017, Netflix tweeted. Love is sharing your password. Really? Where really? was I? They change in their tune now. Well, it's, it seems like a problem they've created. So it's like if if you started it, don't. Don't, don't at me, bro. Don't like, yeah. don't, so, so don't here's, get into my, into my craw. Here's what I would say though. I don't think it's a problem. They started. I think it's a sales tactic. They started. They got everyone hooked. Yep. And now, and now they want you to pay. Mm -hmm. So the thing is that it's like it's, Facebook and business accounts. Yeah. They're yeah. Started not, Twitter blue. To uh -huh. my understanding, they're not necessarily saying that you're not gonna be able to share anymore, but if you're sharing, you are still going to be required to pay something. So mm -hmm. like, I don't even know what it costs. Let's say it's 16 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. You might have to pay that, but then anyone else using your account might have to pay like two or three dollars a month. So it's still cheaper. I wonder how they're going to make you pay. I it. don't well, know. They're going to charge your parents more, and your parents are going to be like, going sorry. They're going to get an army That's of volunteers, like, but an army that. of volunteers like Josh, right? Who are going to uh, <laughs> the principal of the Listen, thing says you owe me three dollars every this month. month on Amazon. They send me another supply of pitchforks and torches. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay. You got that on a right. basis. It's, it is. It's every month the first. Uh, so speaking of sounding like an old person <laughs> as you get older you sometimes realize there are things that you just simply don't know that everybody around you has kind of picked up on already mm. um i had a friend share this on social he said hey i'm 53 years old he said i just learned for the first time in my life that alaska and hawaii are not located down by mexico like they are on most U.S. maps. Hmm. You know, like, oh, my like word. Like on the map of the United States, you've got like the little box in the corner. It's like right. Alaska, Hawaii. He's Don't like, forget oh, about I us. thought that those were there. I thought they were there. They were fenced off by the people. <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody wants into Hawaii. You know, put a fence around it. Put a fence in the ocean. <laughs> uh, keep that's, the riffraff. That's not how it works. Wow. Uh, that's and amazing. So it, it had me thinking, what's the thing? We'll just go around the room. What's the thing that you learned way later in life that everybody else already seemed to have a pretty good grasp of. Huh. I want you to say yours. Cause I already know <laughs> so what Jason is. And okay, I have good. already thoroughly <laughs> shamed him for it. Uh, yes. Um, okay. yes, yes, yes. So, so I please say, share with the class. If I say the words spin class. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Uh, exercise bikes. Yeah. Everybody seems to know this except for yeah. me. Yeah. So this was like only in the last couple of years. Okay. Some I, I learned that spin class is, in fact, the exercise bikes mm -hmm. because the wheels spin. Mm -hmm. I thought it was akin to like ribbon dancing. Yeah. Where oh people were yeah. just, woo, 
people just yeah. whirling themselves about the room. <laughs> and someone had mentioned that an older friend of ours, like in his 60s, they're like, oh, yeah, so-and-so used to be really into spin class. I'm like, man, that seems dangerous and weird <laughs> dangerous. and I don't really want, and then I, poke a child's eye. I made the connection I'm not convinced that you really thought this like who it's would too lie absurd about this? Yes. who in the right mind would lie why about would that? you ever think that that's what that meant that was my own I don't know that just shows how homeschooled you were that okay. that is this, your okay. that, okay. that okay. ribbon Whoa. dancing Whoa. was a regular part of your Slow life down. so much so that you just immediately went there Homeschoolers didn't do a lot of spin class. That's and what I, I'm saying. Ribbon can't. dancing. Listen, we're, we're Baptists. So we can't even dance, okay? Yeah. Goodness. Gosh. Haley, I think now that you have taken this way off the rails, you have to share the thing you learned. I don't have one. I know. I just know That's things. That's so oh, not what? true. Yeah, that That's so She's, not true. She's going to lie. I'll, I'll jump on this one. Um, we're coming back so to you. I, my wife and I, when we were first married, she asked me to uh, to pick up some things from the store. They were like feminine hygiene things. And I was like, oh, I, don't, I can't get those. And she was like, why can't you get those? I was like, I don't have my ID. They're at, <laughs> it's at home. And she, she was like, they don't care how old you are. You can, and I was like, I'm 27. I don't know. So I don't know that you can get those without them. Oh, my goodness. I just didn't. Well, I feel that's better. Great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's great. Well, the nice That's thing is good. I didn't actually have the interaction of like, do you need to see my ID now? She oh, saved yeah, you. She saved you. Oh my so I'm actually oh. very happy about that, but yeah. I'm like, I won't tell anybody about that ever. That's you know a secret that I keep deep there, inside. You guys ever have like an awkward uh, encounter with somebody and you know that you're in their family's stories forever? Yep. That's what that yep. would have been. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Hey, remember the guy who tried to show me his ID to buy these feminine hygiene mm-hmm. products? Mm-hmm. Boy, you just narrowly avoided that. <laughs> yeah, Good it was grief. live and learn. Wow. You and only had to get roasted by your wife instead of by a total stranger. Yeah. It's way she, better. She was like, oh, babe. <laughs> special buddy. Have I got news for you. Yeah. She's got a special calendar with X's all over the days. These are the days she questions what she's done by yeah. saying I do. Yeah. And that's one of those. X's all over the calendar. It's one of those days. It's it's interesting because like mine, I kind of took this a different direction. Okay. A, little, a little deeper, not nearly as, as practical, uh, but it, it's a life lesson that I learned that I wow, feel. you are so old. I know. Go ahead. I feel like a lot of people have have either learned how to do it or that they should never do it. Every time I try to have a mic drop moment where I try to like say the thing, you mm-hmm. know, and like the after school special goes to commercial, it's like, cause I said that the thing that made everyone, oh, sit back and really think. No, it's just open mouth, insert leg. Like it's, <laughs> it's I, not even just one, foot, whole leg. No, it's the entire leg. There's okay. one piece of information that you missed. And you're like, this is the thing. And they're like, but did you know this? And you're like, I did not know that. Right, exactly. It's, as soon as I think <laughs> I'm fully correct and I'm going to go, you know what? No, this and that's the thing. Everyone's like, yeah, but there are three other points here that you're missing that we are completely <laughs> correct. And I look like a moron. And then I have to like apologize, repent and do this, all this other stuff and send somebody a note and all these things. I, anytime <laughs> I try to put my foot down and mic drop. But then it keeps you from doing that. Goodness. On other moments where you're like, I am positive this is a thing, but maybe, maybe well, that's something I don't what know. I'm saying. So you know, I'll set this one out. What you've learned that mm-hmm. other people seem to know, I don't see a lot of people making complete morons out of themselves. And so I have since mm-hmm. stopped doing that. Mm-hmm. I don't <laughs> mic drop anymore because it lands on me. So uh, that's that's one Just thing. forever holding the mic. You're right, exactly. I've got all these things to say <laughs> that might come out if I'm drugged in the nursing home like who knows, who knows? Wow. Wow. Podcast. Wow. Yeah, who knows? i don't know what you were just gonna say yeah, right wow. there yeah. <laughs> like when they give me the morphine near the end it all whew, there it goes just gonna come <laughs> Haley, please anything remember i'm old i'm closer to that than you are that's true that's true uh so i think the thing that comes to mind for me is more so like a a thing that your parents tell you as a kid that you don't realize isn't true till you're older. Clean underwear. I knew it. No. Okay. <laughs> I Me? don't want this mic drop moment. <laughs> yeah. I thought we just, just talked, talked about, about this, Josh. We just <laughs> went through this. Not what I was trying For to do. For the love of God, please continue your story. Not what um, I meant. Did anyone else's parents tell them that it was illegal to have the overhead light on in the car while yes. you're driving? I don't know if it was. Yes. I don't know if they said it was illegal, but it was definitely frowned upon. And yeah, it was like, like, hey, turn it off back there. Yeah, super it was gross. super frowned upon. And it was like, I could get pulled over yeah, if yeah. we have that on. And I 
for years was terrified of turning that light on until one day I realized that's just not true. Like, So do you drive with the light on now? No, like, I don't. I can read my book better. I can do this. I am a grown up. They pull, just they pull because her I over can. They're like, do you know I pulled you over? Is it because my light's on? No, it's because you're reading a book while you're doing this. <laughs> um, well, it is the Bible. So no joke. Touche. I have a friend who she in high school, she got in a car accident because she was reading a book while um, driving. Unreal. It was like a stupid kid just started driving kind of thing, but it was like sitting in traffic. Well, just peek at this and I have never been world. compelled to read anything while I was driving, <laughs> let alone a book. Oh, I thought you were just going to stop it. Yeah, never, <laughs> never been compelled to read anything. Yeah. Also fair. Yeah. Full stop. Also fair. Period. <laughs> if that doesn't sure that's for. make you want to ring the bell and subscribe to the on air off air podcast, <laughs> I don't know what will. Oh my God. This podcast is another river impact production. You can find more podcasts like this one at riverradio.com. And if you like what you're hearing, make sure to subscribe wherever you're listening now. And be sure to tell a friend so they can listen too.